Hey guys, how's it going? Got an interesting video. I put some thought into this. I want to figure out more of a precise way to figure out ignition timing, okay, on a saw. Now you see a little fixture I made there. I figured this out in thousandths of an inch per degree. I'll show you how you do that. It's not that hard. Okay, now we're going to figure out how many degrees and thousandths of an inch there is on this 372 flywheel. And we're going to figure out the spacing in between each one of them degrees. First, you know, in a circle, there's 360 degrees, right? And this timing wheel, there's 360 degrees. And I'm going to show you, if you try to time, we'll say 10 degrees off, we'll say 10 degrees advanced or retarded, and you try to do 10 degrees on this flywheel, it's going to be way off. Okay, I'll show you that. Now on this, the diameter of this wheel is 6 inch 750 thousandths. Okay, now the next thing we want to know is our circumference. So we take 6.750 times pi, which is 3.1415. You get 21 inches, 205 thousandths. That means there's 21 inches, 205 thousandths around this wheel. Okay, now you want to divide by 360, because like I said, there's 360 degrees in a circle. You divide 360. 58 thousandths, 9 tenths. Okay. So, that means, set our calipers. Say 59 degrees. Let's check that. Pretty doggone close. Means there's about 59 degrees per thousandths of an inch, or per degree. Yeah, 59 thousandths per degree on this wheel. Let's check that. Let's times that by 360. Come up with our original number. Okay? In diameter. Not, or circumference. Want to figure out diameter? Okay. Let's divide. 0.1415. Pretty close, we come up with that. Yep, you didn't have to do that last step, but I just wanted to show you going back to our uh, diameter. Now let's do this flywheel, so we know, keep that, keep this in your notes. We already know that this, measure your own flywheel, or your own uh, timing wheel. We know this is about 59 thousandths per degree. Let's measure this flywheel, okay? And you know, we have about four inch, these are off just a smidge, these got drops, so we got four inch, 475 thousandths in diameter. We want to figure out our circumference, okay? So we got times. 3.1415, it's pi. Okay, you've got 14 inches and 58 thousandths. Okay, Time, divide by 360. 39 thousandths per degree. Okay, so that means this flywheel has 39 thousandths per degree. This one has 59 thousandths per degree, right? Say, well, I'm going to move my timing 10 degrees. You already know. We'll multiply this by 10. 390 thousandths. That means there is, in 10 degrees, on that 372 flywheel that I have there, that means in 10 so in 10 degrees, there's this much of a gap, okay, 390 thousandths, okay, and I'll see what 10 degrees is this is, okay, times, 
590 thousandths. Okay. That much difference. So we'll subtract that minus 200 thousandths difference. So you have literally in 10 degrees, you're going to have this much of a difference. That, if that makes sense. See? So this is why I'm coming up with this method. To show you what I got here. Okay, now I figured this out. Now how I figured this out, figured out my diameter. First I had to figure this point here to the center of this bolt here. Okay, which I know is it is 3 inch 100. Times that by 2, that's 6 inch 200. That's from here to out here. That, that would establish my diameter, the circle. Okay. Okay. Now we want to multiply. This is when you're finding your circumference. Okay. Multiply 3.1415. 19 inch, 477 thousandths, okay? Now we want to find thousands per degree. 5, 360. 54. Okay, so that means per degree with this setup here, I have 54 thousandths of degree. Now on this, I'm going to move this 2 degrees, okay? So that means... 54 plus 54 is 108. So we'll go 108, 108 thousandths per two degree for two degrees. Okay, right there, perfect. So what I'm planning on doing, okay, while well I got this timing wheel, now I'm going to set this piston. Get this at top dead center. And I'm going to put this at zero degrees top dead center. Okay. And I have a mark where the flywheel is now. Okay. Which would be right here. Okay. And I'm going to move that 108 thousandths. And that should give me two degrees. Okay. If I don't like it, I always got this mark here to go back to. Because obviously going like uh, this would be retarding the timing. And going like this would be advancing the time. So I got plus for this and minus for this. Okay, that's the way I got this set up. So if I can figure out some type of measurement, figure out a reference point with this flywheel, possibly maybe this bolt on this coil, I can have that as a reference for a lot of these 372s because these, uh, a lot of these aftermarket 372, the flywheels are uh, not in the right place. I know Indiana Doug pointed that out. So going Indiana Doug, he talked about some of the aftermarket saws have a, uh, you know, the key can be a whole keys width off. So your time is going to be way off. Never figure it out. So. I just figure I'd make a video there. I know Solfest is coming up and give you guys some tips. And uh, I hope you thought that was interesting and useful. Okay, guys, the next time, keep feeling the heat.